Hello, this is Mark from NC Equipment. In this video we'll be running over a Ferris IS700 mower. However, this video applies to all the models in the range. There are three things we'll cover off. An overview of the mower, set up and operation, and the daily maintenance. So now we're ready to mow. Let me show you through the operator controls. So we have the key start, the blade engagement, the choke, and the throttle control. Here is the handbrake and the deck height adjustment is all done on the simple pin system. To adjust the mowing height, put pin into the desired height setting. These adjustments are in quarter inch increments and range from 1.5 through to 5 inch. When starting the machine, there are four key points. One, the handbrake must be on. Two, the drive levers need to be out. 3. Your blade engagement switch must be off and 4. Choke needs to be out for a cold start. Once machine is running, bring the revs up to at least 3 quarter before engaging the blades. Once you're ready to start mowing, bring the throttle up to full revs. The handbrake needs to come off before moving forward. Take the weight of the deck by pushing the foot lever forward and then sliding the adjustment lever across to the right and lowering the deck down to the set position. So you're finished mowing, now for the maintenance. Your two points to ensure the longevity of your machine. The first being your oil level and the second being your air filter. Your oil level is checked by ensuring the level is between these two dots. Clean the air filter now, top cover comes off, pull the yellow tab down and simply slide the filter out. You'll have a pre-filter which comes off and then the main air cleaner below that. If you have an air compressor with a gun, this is the easiest way to clean it, otherwise simply knock off against something solid. The final maintenance area for your machine is the cutting deck. Again, an air compressor is the easiest way to remove any loose grass or debris on the top side of the deck. However, if you don't have one of these, you can use water. Just be careful of any electrics. For the underside, use a water blaster or even a power hose. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For any further detail, refer to your operator's manual or otherwise give us a call at NC Equipment. But for now, happy mowing.